This is your brain on COVID. Mike's COVID vlog because every day, no, every week he goes to work and he's like, oh, I'm never home. I have so much to do. I wish I was home more. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> and now he's home the whole week and this is him. I'm bored. <laughs> so I have been tested for COVID and I tested positive. And this is going on day five, I think. So the first day I had a few symptoms. I had chills. I didn't have a fever. I just had chills. And I had body aches. I had a headache and very slightly loss of taste and that's the only uh, symptoms I've had so far which they all didn't come at once like the first day was the worst when I had the chills and the body aches like I had the uh, turn I was at work at the time and I had to turn the heat on on my truck because I was so cold and the body aches <coughs> was pretty bad too but that went away after like the second and third day and then I just continued to have the headache and the cough, oh yeah, the, I had a cough too, which I still have. Um, I'm hoping it only lasts a couple more days. I'm out of work until next, this is Wednesday, I'm in, out of work until next Thursday. They won't let me come back until then. And I still have to get tested negative before they even let me come back. So, fun stuff. That is my COVID experience in a nutshell. It's not very severe. It just feels like a cold. But, <clears throat> if I can just get rid of this cough, man, I'd be, I'd be great. But I'll probably give it a couple more days <coughs> and then I'll go get tested again to see <coughs> if it's gone away hopefully it is so the highlight of my day is to check the mail so let's go check the mail it's about 200 feet at the end of the driveway yay as far as I can go. We got mail? We got mail. <clears throat> and back to the house. Back to the dungeon. Um, a lot of you might say. I ventured it out today. And now we're at five guys. I didn't go into Five Guys, but Amanda went in there and got food. Well, she's getting food now. But this is day nine. Tomorrow's day 10. Supposedly tomorrow I can go get tested again and see if I still have it or not. 
so I might do that I might wait till Saturday I don't, I'm not sure so this is day 11 of being on house arrest slash quarantine whatever you want to call it and don't mind the face I got in the pool yesterday and somehow when I was diving I dove down and didn't realize I was that close to the shallow end so that's the result of that but yeah uh, my head's still cloudy nope stay. Um, I still got a little bit of cough <laughs> and now I got a broke face. No, get your face out of there. Amanda goes back to work Monday or Sunday night. It's Sunday night, right? <coughs> huh? Yeah. Sunday night. Now I'm not supposed to go back until I think next Thursday. And today's Friday. Um, I'll probably go Monday morning and get tested again, see if I can get a negative result because my work will not let me come back without that. So <clears throat> I'll go Monday and see what happens. So it is uh, day 13 of my quarantine for COVID. I still have a headache. It's kind of like a sinus headache. What? But yeah, I still got a headache from time to time. Um, I still have a cough from time to time, but other than that, I feel fine. Um, I don't really feel fatigued anymore. Um, I'm trying to stand off, but yeah, it's day 13. <coughs> it's Monday. Uh, Amanda back went back to work last night so she's sleeping right now so I'm extra bored nothing to do I'm out here in my building trying to find stuff to do which I have a couple things to do I have to change the oil on my lawnmower and <coughs> I could organize stuff organized crap I should say but yeah day 13 I was supposed to go get tested again today <coughs> to see if I can go back to work I mean see if I can get tested negative so I can go back to work but apparently my where I got tested before um, is through my healthcare provider uh, Kaiser and they, I called them and see if I can get a test. And they said they can't do it. They can't order any tests for me unless I'm showing symptoms. So I had to try to find somewhere else to go get tested. And there's like CVS you can get tested, which they had no appointments. So I called the health uh, department and uh, I had to schedule an appointment with them, which is Wednesday at 9.40 a.m. So that kind of sucks because I was hoping to be back at work Wednesday night and I'm, I know I'm not gonna find the results that quick. So that means I'm gonna have to stay home a total of two weeks, which sucks. Alright, so I just got back from getting my test done, and it went okay, I guess. So we'll see, see what happens. They said, this test said they three to five days before the results get back, so uh, hopefully they'll get back to me before then. I'm hoping no more than two days so it's coming up on the weekend so who knows but yeah like so the last test when I got tested 
uh, positive, um, they did the test on me. Like they took a long uh, swab and swabbed my throat. And this one was a different place. I, this one was the health department. So they had me do it on myself. Like I had to blow my nose, uh, clear out my nose, and then um, I had to take a Q-tip and go in each one of my nostrils and swirl, swirl it around as high as I can go where it feels uncomfortable. And uh, I sneezed a couple times. But you do that for like 10, 12 to 15 seconds each nostril and then you give it to the person and that's how that went so I can see how um, some tests are coming back maybe false negative because of how they doing different kind of tests and stuff and I can see a lot of people especially the ones that uh, they do it on themselves I can see people not doing it uh, right and uh, be false so who knows but we should get mine back in a couple days hopefully and uh, hopefully I can get back to work so it's just a waiting game now alright so this is day now 16 17 somewhere in there but I just got back my results for my test and it was not detected which means negative supposedly um, so luckily that came back negative so I can go back to work but my work is now requiring which it, okay so it only took like I took the test on Wednesday morning and I got the test back the results uh, Friday morning so initially they said three to five days but it only took like two days so that's good and um, I told my work and they're requiring the negative test result and a doctor's note saying that I can return to work so that's kind of a pain in the ass so now I gotta go to a healthcare provider and see if I can get a return to work note so and it was and it's Friday so it's the weekend and I'm not gonna be able to get nothing done until Monday which I go back to work on my regular schedule Monday night so hopefully I can get that note Monday and return back to work Monday night because I'm so ready to go back to work and uh, that's it that's my experience of COVID so it's glad it's over behind me glad it wasn't worse than it was and uh we'll just move on from it